President Trump speaks out for the first time since he was acquitted on the articles of impeachment. What he had to say in a live report out of D.C. Plus, the coronavirus concerns spread to Oahu as several people are under self-quarantine after returning from China. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News Midday. Aloha and mahalo for tuning in to KITV4 Island News Midday on this Thursday, February 6th. I'm Lindsay Fukano. President Trump is speaking out today for the first time since he was acquitted on the articles of impeachment. The president is both celebrating and offering a warning to his political opponents. Our Washington correspondent Matt Canadler live on Capitol Hill now with the very latest for us. Matt, good afternoon. Lindsay, good afternoon. The president's victory lap started this morning. All right, Matt, thank you. And after being acquitted in his Senate impeachment trial, President Trump also said this should never happen to another president. But meanwhile, over at the Capitol, a very different message from the Speaker of the House. Camilla Bernal now has the latest from Washington. And now to the very latest on the coronavirus outbreak. The death toll at 560 and counting. More than 28,000 people around the world have been infected by the virus out of Wuhan, China. On Oahu, roughly seven people self-quarantined themselves at home after returning from China. And right now, the Department of Health reports the patients show no symptoms of the coronavirus and pose no threat to the public. And this is a map of the 25 countries with confirmed cases, most of them in China. China, where the virus started. Hawaii still has yet to see its first confirmed coronavirus case, but if anyone comes in the state with symptoms, they will be quarantined for two weeks at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. And right now you're taking a look at what the quarantine facilities look like on base. Meanwhile, several state media outlets and Wuhan Central Hospital now reporting that a Chinese doctor who sounded early warnings about the Wuhan virus is in critical condition. Hours earlier today, the same state media outlets reported that he had died. He was one of several medics targeted by police for trying to blow the whistle on the deadly virus in the early weeks of the outbreak, and he later contracted the virus himself. Well, there must have been lots of rain over our state in the last 24 hours. Tasia Worley's in now with the very latest. Tasia. That's right, Lindsay, in the last... And now to the very latest on the Hibiscus Drive homicides. The Honolulu Medical Examiner has officially identified the second set of human remains found in the rubble near Diamond Head three weeks ago as 69-year-old Jerry Hainel. Hainel is accused of shooting and killing two Honolulu police officers, then starting a fire that destroyed seven homes on Hibiscus Drive. The other set of remains were identified as Hainel's landlord, Lois Kane. Police also found firearms in the debris. Kaulike Kalama was one of the police officers shot and killed that day. His memorial service is scheduled for March 7th at Bishop Memorial Chapel at Kamehameha Schools. A public viewing starts at 9.30 in the morning with the actual service beginning at 10.45, followed by a procession and another service in front of the Honolulu Police Department headquarters. Extended family of the other fallen officer, Tiffany Enriquez, are holding a memorial mass in Tennessee this Saturday. Her career in law enforcement started in Clarksville and joined HPD. The Honolulu Police Department's getting dog tags inscribed with scripture honoring both Enriquez and Kalama. It's courtesy of a nonprofit group called Point 27, and they call the tags Shields of Strength. It comes with a Bible verse and an American flag with a thin blue line honoring law enforcement. The group also sent folded flag pendants to family members of both of the fallen officers. Still to come on KITV4 Island News Midday, Southwest's profit-sharing plan continues on and Amazon pledges to be a net zero carbon company by 2040. Plus, a new study linking a possible cause of Alzheimer's disease and we'll have more on the prevention efforts that you can make straight ahead. Stay with us.
Welcome back. After a rough 2019 fiscal year, Southwest Airlines is still giving its workers six weeks of extra pay. The company made the announcement today, and despite its rough year, there was a bit of profit, and they are giving 60,000 employees a $667 million profit-sharing bonus. The result, some eligible employees will soon get a check for just over 12% of their annual salary, or about six weeks of pay. Others will get the contribution added to their retirement accounts. Southwest's profit-sharing plan has been in place for 46 years. A version of the controversial Nike shoe that powered the first ever under two-hour marathon could soon be yours because it hits stores this summer. The Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent has a carbon fiber plate. This is for a sensation of propulsion and cushioning that minimizes energy loss. Nike calls it a sign of game-changing progress. The release date and price has not yet been confirmed. Meal prepping for a family of four can get costly. Americans spend more than 7,000 on groceries and eating out per year. This is according to the latest statistics from the Bureau of Labor Food. And the third biggest expense for consumers in rural areas next to housing and transportation is meal prepping. The Student Borrow, Borrower Protection Center says where you go to college could be factored in the cost. For example, it found that community college students were charged more to borrow than those that attended uh, four-year universities. It says the lenders could be engaging in educational redlining by raising the price of credit for historically marginalized groups, something the banks named in the report deny. The electric effect is in full force at Amazon. It has ordered 100,000 custom electric delivery vans. That's the largest order in history. Amazon released a blog post and video showing how much is going into the design and development. The company pledges to be net zero, net zero by 2040 and power its business with 100% renewable energy by 2030. They'll be rolled out in the UK and North America from 2020 to 2024. And as we know, Hawaii strives to meet its goal of becoming a carbon neutral economy by 2045. Honolulu gas prices have dropped over the past week, according to AAA. Other areas of the state are still experiencing some fluctuating prices. Today's statewide average price is $3.63 a gallon, which is two cents less than a month ago. But listen to this. It's 37 cents higher than on this date one year ago. U.S. stocks drifted lower but rebounded in later trading to end the nearly... Uh, well, three-day three day period breaking even. And the Dow Jones closed up by 0.3%. The S&P closed up at 0.33%. Also, the NASDAQ did close up at 0.67% as well. And a flood advisory has been extended for Oahu until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Our Tasia Worley's back in now with a look at your forecast. Tasia, we're seeing some definite rain over on the windward side. That's right. Actual footage over on the windward side. Here's a look at the last three hours over Oahu. Definitely have seen a blanket of moisture. All right, Tasia, thank you. An estimated 5.8 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. And a new study suggests a link between not getting enough sleep and the memory-robbing disease. Man Andy Gaither has the latest prevention efforts. KITV. And while the research is not yet conclusive, certain lifestyle choices such as physical activity and diet may also help support brain health and prevent Alzheimer's. Still to come on KITV for your surf forecast, plus $325,000 is a hefty price tag to send quintuplets to college. But an education is priceless. We'll have where this took place still ahead on KITV4. On the Big Island, fires destroyed two homes near Mountain View. And then first, the first one started on Pikake Street in the Fern Acres subdivision. Damage is estimated at $60,000. And the second fire happened on Colea Street in the Eden Rock subdivision. Damage is estimated at $160,000. And no injuries were reported in either fire. 
Warning signs are now posted at a Maui beach following shark sightings, and there were no injuries reported, but take a look at the bite marks it left on the board. This is when a group of stand-up paddle boarders fought off one of those sharks, and warnings are posted to stay out of the ocean between Ke'ava Kapu and White Rock Beach near Wailea. Ocean Safety reports at least three tiger sharks were reported, and one of them about 10 feet long. And staying on Maui now, where the, a new family, or well, a family, has keys to their new home. And with the help of Habitat for Humanity Maui and the Department of Hawaiian Homelands, volunteers donated over 1,100 hours to complete the Kula project. The Kuai Lani family also put in the work to build their new four-bedroom, two-bathroom home. And DHHL's partnership with Habitat for Humanity Maui allows people with little means to build an affordable home. If you've ever wanted to learn how to make lei, well, here's your chance. There will be a public lei making class as a prep for this year's Lei Day celebration. You can register now for more than two dozen free workshops, regardless of your skill level. Classes will start at the end of February and continue, th continue on through late April. To learn how to register, visit KITV.com. We'll go back outside now with a look at weather. Teja Willie's back in with a look at today's surf forecast. Teja, how's it shaping up? Nobody wants to go to the beach. It's raining today. We actually have uh, some brown water advisories for Kauai and Maui. News Midday. Ripped right out of the wall, thieves steal an ATM and quintuplets plus college tuition equals a whole lot of money. Reed Binion explains how one family's financial burden is lifted. Check out this. And just a reminder that Sunday is Oscar Day here on KITV4. The countdown begins early at 8 a.m. with live coverage from the red carpet in Hollywood. All of the glitz and glamour leads to the Academy Awards live at 3 p.m. And learn who gets to take home an Oscar live as it happens. You don't have to wait for any recording because you could watch it all live here on KITV4 this Sunday. Did we mention it was live? I don't know if we mentioned it, but it was <laughs> It was live, but good to know. And we'll have, that, we'll have it for you live on Sunday. Anyways, let's get outside now with a look at our eight day before we go. Definitely not glamorous outside. We are seeing a lot of rain showers, especially for our Oahu throughout Hawaii Island. The good news is it's going to be nice and cool all the way throughout the weekend. And then we could get more moisture over the weekend for the northern slopes. At least we have those breezy winds back 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then, of course, those on and off showers that will be lasting throughout the weekend. So make sure you keep that rain jacket or raincoat handy. All right, and like you said, not a good day to go to the beach. So <laughs> make sure you just stay indoors and uh, enjoy, enjoy the rainy weather. Some people like it. We'll have much more to come coming up at 5 p.m. tonight. Have a great day. Aloha.